city officials in Georgia could soon be able to make promoters of unpermitted events pay up. A bill cracking down on those events, like Orange Crush on Tybee Island, has now passed through both the House and the Senate. I spoke to the mayor of Tybee Island to find out how he feels about the bill's progression. I'm really happy about this bill, not just for us, but for um, any city, uh, town, county across Georgia. A Georgia bill that would require promoters to pay for city expenses after unpermitted events occur is now awaiting a signature from Governor Brian Kemp. It allows the city to recover costs from people who promote events that they don't get permission from the city to have. Tybee Island Mayor Brian West says this bill, which could very soon become law, comes at a time when the city already has promoters trying to get permits to hold various different events on the same weekend in April. One group um, advertised using the pier for events when the county had not given them use of the pier or, or uh, the authority to use the pier. We already have a good idea of what it's what it's going to cost because we've already planned um, the enforcement activities that we're going to have to have in place for this. If the promoters aren't willing to you know help us pay for these costs then we'll have to We'll have to seek damages. West says none of this would have been possible without the efforts of the city's previous mayor, Shirley Sessions. If she hadn't started that, you know, last year we wouldn't be here now. So I'm um, very grateful to her. Georgia Senator Ben Watson, who lives on Tybee Island, advocated for the bill, saying Tybee spent $187,000 to handle issues with Orange Crush last year. Now, we've reached out to Orange Crush organizers for a comment on this, but we have not yet heard back.